Today marks a tragic anniversary, seven years since the shooter killed 20 children and six staffers at Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown, Connecticut. In Florida, officials responded to a terrible shooting there by addressing their response time to a shooting. And with a new law aimed at stopping a potential shooting before the gunman can act. Here's Jeff Begays. Broward County's real-time crime center can tap into 10,000 security cameras in 260 schools. Sheriff Gregory Tony says that only happens when the threat is real. When we have something referred to as a code red or a lockdown at a school, that information comes in, relayed through our dispatch, finds its way here, and then instantly our team pulls up the cameras on the school so we can get live feed as to what's occurring on site. The number of threats to schools here have gone up. Nationwide, more than 4.1 million students endured at least one lockdown in the 2017 and 2018 school year alone. In 2018, the shooting in Parkland left 17 dead and a sobering reminder that preventing the next threat is just as important as the response to the one that is unfolding. Since the shooting, Florida passed a red flag law that allows the state to confiscate guns from individuals who pose a risk to themselves or the public. So far, more than 2,700 temporary orders have been granted to seize guns. And earlier this month, in just a week's time, Broward County Sheriff's deputies arrested a total of three teenagers for making threats against a school. In one case, a 12-year-old female student was arrested after she posted threatening messages on Snapchat. One was a hit list targeting classmates. The Real-Time Crime Center allows investigators to track threats on social media. At times, we are looking at social media, looking for keywords, um, specifically in, in our geographical area, uh, to see if there are things out there that we need to be concerned with to protect the residents of Broward County here. Do you think the parents who have kids in these schools should feel confident that you have their schools and their kids protected? Yes, absolutely. Correct. Protect the schools is a motto we heard repeatedly in this room, and we also saw this seal. It is an image of an owl, which symbolizes a guardian and 17 stars, one star each for Parkland's victims. Jeff Begay's CBS News, Broward County, Florida.